Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear 10th class. How are you? I hope that you all will be fine. Welcome to the third and last lecture of direct and indirect topic. Today, our lecture is going to start with the rule number 6, which is in sentences expressing sudden and strong feelings or emotions and wishes, the reported speech is introduced by some verb expressing exclamation or wish. Yani exclamatory sentences are gay. Kya hote hai exclamatory sentences? A sentence that expresses some strong but sudden feelings or sentiments. It means sadness, happiness, surprise, etc. is called an exclamatory sentence. Yani aisa jumla just me shadid magar achanak jazbat or aisa saad. Chai wo gham ke ho, khushi ke ho, tajub ke ho, wo exclamatory sentence ke hilata hai. Let's take a look of the exercise. She said to her father, may you live long. She prayed that her father might live long. She said, may you prosper. She prayed that I might prosper. The mother said to her daughter, may God bless you with a son. The mother prayed for her daughter that God might bless her with a son. She said, would that my father were alive. She wished that her father had been alive. The mother said to her son, May you return successful. The mother prayed for her son that he might return successful. She said, What a beautiful piece of art. She exclaimed with wonder that a piece of art was very beautiful. He said, How well she sing. He exclaimed with wonder that she sang very well. He said, Alas, we cannot defeat our enemies. He exclaimed with sorrow that they could not defeat their enemies. She said, What a pity you missed that function. She exclaimed with sorrow that I missed that function. He said, Hurrah, I have won the medal. He exclaimed with joy that he had won the medal. I hope now it is clear to you how to make exclamatory sentences, how to change them from direct to indirect. Now your last rule very important and you can say a basic rule that if the reporting verb is in the present, present perfect or future tense, the reported speech retains the same tense as used by the speaker. The pronouns however change as usual. Reporting verb kaun sa hota hai? Ye jo comma ke bahir hota hai says. Agar ye wala. Ya to ye aapka present mein hai. Ya ye aapka present perfect mein hai. Ya ye aapka future mein hai. To in that case, ye inverted commas ke andar jo aapka verb hai, jo zamana hai, jo aapki form hai, wo change nahi hogi. Am hai present mein. तो वो is में ही रहेगा, present, present में ही रहेगा. यहाँ पर भी want to speak, wants to speak. Are, are में ही रहेगा. और ये is, is में ही रहेगा. However, you will change the pronouns. आप pronouns को change करेंगे. जैसे, you will say she is cranky और you will say that she is cranky. Pronouns इसके मुताबिक change हो जाएंगे, लेकिन, Aapka zamana change nahi hoga. Let's solve our exercise. They say we have done our duty. To ye present a gaya. Reporting verb aapka present me ho gaya. To under zamana nahi badrenge. Pronoun change karenge. They say that they have done their duty. She says we have shifted to another house. She says that they have shifted to another house. The teacher will say. You have done your work very well. The teacher will say that I have done my work very well. He says she has written me a very encouraging letter. He says that she has written him a very encouraging letter. She says we love and respect our neighbors very much. She says that they love and respect their neighbors very much. She has said she is ready to accompany us to Karachi. She said 
that she was ready to accompany them to Karachi. He says, I have not heard the latest news about her. He says that he has not heard the latest news about her. The doctor says, the patient is still in a state of coma. The doctor says that the patient is still in a state of coma. The teacher says, she has always been a good student. The teacher says that she has always been a good student. She will say, he did not come up to my expectations. She will say that he did not come up to her expectations. I hope you have direct and direct understanding. I have made a lecture earlier. In this course, I have briefly summed up in one lecture. Now, I have tried to Three lectures may elaborate karke koshish ki hai ki aap ke liye ghar baithe inko solve karna, inko samajna, inko attempt karna kafi easy ho jaye. To baki aapko further ye experience ke saath hi aayenge, aap jitni zyada practice karenge, utna zyada aapka inke saath exposure jo hai wo vast hota jayega. So kindly try to change direct into indirect. Inke jo different rules aapko bataye hain, unko apply kare, exercises ko bar bar revise kare, aur is tarah se inshallah aapka ये क्वेश्चन बड़े अच्छे से प्रिपेयर हो जाएगा। We will meet इन्शाल्लाह in another lecture with an another topic. Take care of yourselves. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.